Hi, my name is Yuri Lavrinov. My name is Michael Oben. We are the co-founders of the Lasertag.net company. In this presentation, we want to tell you about the results that we have achieved after developing the Neutronic platform for over three years. What is Netronic? Netronic is three basic concepts. Safety, reliability, and gamification. As you know, we are practitioners. We own laser tag clubs, three of them. We ourselves played and conducted laser tag games, so we obviously understand the needs of laser tag club owners. In addition, we always listen to you, the visitors of our clubs and the constant users of our laser tag equipment. Having brought all the options together, we came to the conclusion that these three concepts are the main ones in laser tag. It is important for a business's owner to easily arrange the game so that it starts and finishes on time and there are no troubles or delays during the gaming process. So your customers always enjoy the exciting game. The equipment of Lasertag.net is gamification, reliability, and safety. Look at the name of the new platform. It consists of two parts. Net means network and Tronic means process automation, like with Parktronic. The idea of the platform is a device network, both of gaming sets and additional devices, connected via the software that allows one to manage them from one place. So it is an automation of laser tag based network devices. The first and most important thing that we want to present to you is our new headband that we have been working on for over the last three years. While creating it, as you can see, it is really different from the previous version. We understood that one of the most important criteria is maintainability. Since it is a rental device, it must always remain in good condition. And after each game, it must look presentable. So the headband must be more durable, and it better be easier to clean, easier to sanitize, and to prepare for the game. There are many more advantages, but this is one more of the headband, is that it is much more comfortable. It even got smaller and lighter. The players will notice this difference. They will feel much more comfortable during the gaming process. Laser Tag is a game based on many different programs and script features, by using which you can create new conditions and make the game even more exciting. This is what we have noticed in the beginning, the process gamification. So, talking about the design itself, you can see that the sensors have become much smaller, as well as the main unit. I want to note that the height of the sensor is only 6 millimeters, which is almost one and a half times less than the thickness of a pencil. We would also like to show you that this headband will be presented in two colors, camouflage fabric and black. You can choose the color you want and combine it with the color of the weapon. As you can see, we have different colors for the body. For example, camouflage is probably more suitable for the gun and black is for this. The weight of the new headband is 25% less than the previous version. It weighs less than 150 grams. There are lithium polymer batteries with a capacity of 1,500 milliampers per hour installed in the main unit. The flat battery is smaller in size but larger in capacity. The battery life of the new headband is four hours longer than the previous versions. Let's go back to the design itself. As you can see, all the sensors are made of the same material, impact-resistant polycarbonate. This material is used both in the military industry and in car headlights, so it is a time-tested plastic which is used in heavy loads. Police shields, which are used in tactical operations, are also made of this same material. Also, polycarbonate has good light conductivity. It is very important for laser tag because at large distances there is no loss of the light beam and, in this case, the infrared beam. If you look at the sensors closely, you will see a special edge on the side that prevents them from getting scratched. For example, if your player leaned against a tree or fell down, this special edge will protect the sensor. Mechanical damage to the sensors during transportation is also prevented. You can be sure that the sensors will not be scratched and will be in marketable condition. Note that the main unit is also significantly smaller in comparison to previous versions, four times less in size. Now, the headband is equal in size around the entire circumference. 
The headbands are covered with a special lacquer. And the electronics are made in such a way that even when it rains, nothing shorts out. In addition, at any time you can remove the insides of the headband and wash the outer part. You can play with the headband in the rain. I don't recommend you go diving in it, but there is no need to cancel the game because of rain. Okay, take a look at this power button. It is totally resistant to dust and moisture. That is why you can play in any weather condition. The power connection, it is also very well protected. I want to specifically mention that the fabric used in our headband is Cordura fabric, and it is also used in military industry for making backpacks and clothing. This is a very dense fabric. Its density is 1,200 grams per square meter. This fabric is also used for carrying water by helicopters in cases of fire. Cordura can withstand seven and a half thousand turns of sandpaper. By the way, seven years ago we chose this fabric to equip the players in our paintball club. We have been testing this fabric for seven years and can say for sure that it is a good option for rental cases. When choosing the material, we needed it to be durable for everyday rental, and the Cordero fabric met all of our expectations. Most of the uniforms remained in their original condition and are still used in our paintball clubs today. We have also replaced the fabric used in cuffs. By the way, now there are two cuffs for each headband. The cuffs are made from a special air mesh material, which creates a space between the headband and the player's head, so that the band does not absorb moisture or sweat and maintains the natural temperature of the body. This makes the game more comfortable and prevents moisture from accessing the electronics of the headband. This is what you can see on backpacks, special straps that let in the air and prevent perspiring. They are made of this fabric because it breathes. There are many small cells that let air constantly circulate and do not allow moisture or perspiration to linger. And it is also very cool that it dries quickly. If you have a flow of people and you often wash the cuffs, due to the air circulation, this material dries very quickly. And most importantly, this visually voluminous fabric is actually very thin, soft and easily compressed, which creates additional comfort for players. But the most important changes affected the internal elements, electronics. For example, we have a new charge indicator here. When you turn on the headband, you can see four diodes. And also you can see how much charge you have left on the headband during the game. It is enough to press it once. You see at the moment the four diodes. It means that the battery has 100% charge. I wasn't so lucky. I only have three left, which means that I have 75% of the charge remaining. There is a special buzzer built in. This is a chip that produces a squeaking sound that signals the loss of communication between the gun and the headband. If you have a dead battery or the gun is very far from the radius of communication with a headband. For example, if you take off the headband or your player loses it somewhere in the grass, after switching on the gun, the headband will start making sounds so that you can find it. It will also glow, making it easier to search for even in the dark. If you look at the diodes themselves, I am activating the headband, don't be afraid. There are two diodes in each sensor. These are super bright diodes. They are brighter than the ones we used before. Thus, even in bright sunny weather, you can see that you hit the opponent. A special auto shutdown function will help you in case you want to save battery power, or your players take a break. You can just leave the headband and it will turn off automatically. Another cool feature requested by customers was inverse lighting. Now you can play even in the dark. To do this, simply set your gun into inversion mode. As you can see, it constantly glows during the game. 
What you see now is the standard mode, used in outdoor systems. And this is the inversion or arena mode. Thus, you can play in the dark and there will be no safety problems. The players won't be bumping into each other because they can see the other players. This is especially important for children. There is an infrared emitter installed in each sensor of the headband in order to hit the players during some scenarios with bombs or grenades. The information about shot throughs is also transmitted, so that if, for example, a bullet enters from one side and exits from the other, this is called shot through. There are also interesting modes implemented, such as vampire, zombie, radiation, contagion, and others that can be passed from player to player. So you can shoot not only with a gun, but also with a headband. Of course, this requires a special script. I think the coolest implement is a zombie headband that can infect everyone around and there is no need to press anything for this. It automatically infects everybody and captures players nearby. The feature of differentiated damage to the headband is now very popular and here we are also in trend. If earlier there were only two processors on the unit, now each sensor has its own processor which controls the damage and certain scenarios. It means if you get shot in this sensor, you feel the vibration only in this sensor. And you can react to the side you're attacked from. It is similar to computer games. If you have ever played Counter-Strike, you can see red dots on the screen that indicate the position of the shooter who hit you. Thus, it gives us more opportunities for new scenarios, which is a big part of our gamification concept. And also, we have mentioned this headband is more comfortable for players. We use the highest quality materials that we could find on the market in order to make the headband as reliable as possible. Let's move on to the main device for today, a Falcon gun. If you haven't seen it before, this is the most popular gun in the laser tag industry. Due to its light weight, great design, and what is most important, its high level of safety, there aren't any protruding elements in it, which can accidentally hit an opponent. We can also add to the fact that it is extremely durable through the use of ABS plastic, which gives these characteristics. And especially, many changes have occurred in the gamification section. If we are talking about gamification, then of course, an important parameter that we have improved is the screen. The color of the OLED screen is the technology that is used in smartphones. We have added a protective glass to this screen in order to protect it from possible crashes. That may be a result of improper use. When you buy a phone, they put a 0.5 millimeter thick protective glass or film on it. This one is 6 millimeters thick, which is 12 times more. It helps to protect the glass. Nothing will happen. You can check it yourself. This screen has a very wide viewing angle. No matter how you rotate it, the indicators are always visible. And when your client will look at his rate during the game, he will not need to make unnecessary movements. While shooting, he will be able to see how many lives he has left, how many hits, and so on. Well, of course, all that you see here is the result of a lot of research on children and adults who played computer games. And we did it all in the form of graphic scales, displays of the type of weapons, special icons that are intuitively understandable. If you have ever played computer games, while you and I also had to play computer games for several nights, for informational purposes only, so, if you have ever played computer games, you will understand the red indicator is health, green is ammunition. And every child who comes to you and every adult, mom or dad, will understand what it is. If there are hearts, it is clear that it's lives, and it will not be necessary to say where or what things are. 
Our screen displays three modes, game mode, pre-game mode, and post-game mode. In these three modes, we can see the different parameters that the player sees. There are about 30 of them. In this case, you can see the pre-game mode. Each player can see how many weapons he has. In this case, an assault rifle and a grenade launcher. This is a stormtrooper. This is one of the preset modes in which you can see that there is one additional weapon and a main weapon, which will be used the most frequently during the game. There is also a second mode, which is called gaming mode, in which the game itself is actually set. This is the main mode. Here you can see the number of lives, the red call. At the moment, there are a hundred. The number of shots and the number of magazines, in this case, twelve of them. The timer of the game shows how much time is left until the end of the battle, so that the player understands what to do, hurry up or slow down. The current weapon, in this case, the sniper rifle. The number of hits and defeats of your opponent, that is, how many points you've received. And at the very bottom, in this case, number one indicates the position of the player in the team based upon his points. It is very convenient when a player sees his position in the rating of the whole team. In all modes, there is service information at the top. This is the number of your gun, this is the battery charge of the headband and of the gun. It also shows the network the gun is connected to. If the game was completed deliberately, via remote, or if a player was defeated, or the whole battle was ended, then after five seconds, the player will see his final statistics. This is a post-game mode, in which each player can see the achievements in this game. So, the player sees how many times he hit his opponent and how many times he was defeated. And most importantly, it says game over. If earlier players approached you and asked you why a gun doesn't shoot anymore, now game over is displayed on the gun screen so that it is clear to the player. So, this is a kind of feedback. In our laser tag, people play not only for fun, we also give them a sporting interest, so that they can look at how many times they hit someone and can show it to their friends. Look how much I shot and how much you shot me. They do not need to go anywhere to see it. The information is always on their screen. And two more modes that are more related to the maintenance of this device. This is the service mode, in which settings of certain parameters occur, for example, volume, ID, and others. And the firmware download mode for an update of new interesting products that we release every three months. Thus, almost all interactions with the gun is done through a single screen. This is convenient, understandable, colorful, and you will definitely like it. The coolest parameter of gamification is to feel what's in your hands. And this can be felt due to the implementation of impulse recoil. Now we will demonstrate how this works. But you will only see how my hands begin to move. But all the people who take the gun and start shooting feel the wow effect. And they like it. The feeling of the gun moving in their hands. This is a similar feeling to the one people have when they shoot the real weapon. Yes, this is the most similar imitation, because the weapon leans precisely against your shoulder. Initially, if we look back in history, we started with vibration feedback. It was something like a PlayStation controller. Whenever you hit or shoot, your controller vibrates. It was the first generation, and it wasn't bad. But the best solution at the moment is an impulse imitation of recoil. A buttstock must hit the shoulder. To feel it, you can order a test drive. It is important to say that this set is supplied with an impulse recoil due to two separate batteries. One battery ensures the system itself works and the functioning of the weapon. And the second battery is responsible for the impulse recoil. 
This is necessary so that if you forget to charge the kit, you can still play the game. The gun will still work, but without impulse recoil, and thus the self-sufficiency of your kit increases. There is a body frame damage implemented into the gun. You or your opponent can be hit not only in a headband with sensors, but also in the body frame itself. This is necessary so that the player cannot hide behind cover or shoot from behind a corner. This is very inconvenient and unpleasant when an opponent tries to shoot at you from around the corner. There are three sensors here, so you can hit the gun from all sides. In addition, you can set two options in the application settings. First, when hitting the gun, it will count the damage. And second, it will turn off as if you had deactivated the weapon for a while. This mode can also be turned off, because for kids it is sometimes not entirely comfortable if a hit in the gun is counted as a player's defeat. As we said earlier, each of the characters have two weapons each. I'll tell you first about the characters. We will give more info on the characters in the software when we are discussing Android and Windows. You can also set all the roles through the remote. This can be done very quickly. At the moment, we have six main roles, and in each of them, there is a second weapon. We will quickly try to go through each of them. The first role is a medic. The medic has a first aid kit with which he can heal, and there is also a second weapon, a regular rifle to shoot with. Running up to the injured player, a medic can heal him. There is a certain number of first aid kits with which he can heal his teammate. It is a drastic change for a scenario because the game differs whether there is a medic in it. By the way, switching the mode is done by the reload button. And the switching of the weapon mode or the mode without weapons is switched by using this button. The second role is a vampire. He has only one weapon. He can suck the life out of an opponent. That means when he hits you, he takes life from you. You lose life points and he'll get them. The third role is a zombie. There are many scenarios about zombies, but in general, if you are a zombie, you infect others and they become members of your team. There may be different parameters. You can customize everything through the application. The next is a hostage. In this role, the hostage has no ammunition. He just runs around with the rifle, but with no ability to use it. The next one is a sniper. He has a main sniper rifle with increased damage but very low rate of fire. And also, the second weapon is a handgun, which has only 10 bullets in the magazine. It usually is set for these scenarios. It has a low damaging ability, but it can shoot fast enough. And a stormtrooper. He has a standard rifle, configured with a grenade launcher, which has three shots, the damage of which can be adjusted. For example, you can immediately eliminate the enemy in one shot. As we said, the script of a shoot-through may work. For example, when you hit a single player, the player in the immediate area of the affected one can also be deactivated. We will explain in detail how to enable these modes when we talk about the application. It seems to me that any business, especially such as laser tag or paintball, they are closely linked to safety. Because no matter how cool all of this is, no matter how cool all these devices really are, safety is above all of it. If a problem happens, all gamification loses the point. We pay special attention to safety now. We added a new feature to the gun, a secondhand sensor. This function has already been implemented in indoor systems, but it has never been used in outdoor systems. As you can see on this screen, now the gun is not shooting. A warning appears on the screen that the player must hold the gun with both hands. This gun shoots only when I do so. It is done to prevent the player from swinging the gun and sticking it out from behind cover or throwing it. There should not be such a big distance from the shoulder. Everything should be held tight 
and only then will it shoot and you can play. This system has long been used indoors and for many years it has been used in the arena maze and has proven its safety. In addition, each rifle has its own rubber tip. So here it is without it. And now with it on. There are some more cool changes that made our gun more convenient. Firstly, it is the RGB diode, which shows the color of the team and also signals that the gun's battery is low or about to die. In addition, due to it, we see the color of our team because you may have a gun without a screen and you might not see what color your team is. And with an RGB diode, everything is clear. A player when wearing a headband doesn't see the color of his team by the headband. So an instructor and player needs this diode. If we switch to the blue team, as you see, the diode also changes. Thus, blow up the opponent. This is especially important in zombie mode, when the player doesn't understand if he's on the zombie team or not. It becomes immediately obvious to him that he is green and thus a zombie. The next feature we have implemented in this system is auto power off. When the kit is not being used, for example, it is set for 10 minutes. It automatically turns off. In addition, you can turn it off remotely, which will be discussed later in the software section. The following innovation is that all the power buttons in our guns became tack switches. This means that you cannot turn on the kit by simply pressing the button once if you are transporting the equipment. To turn it on, the button must be held down. In this case, the frequent problems that our clients have addressed are the fact that child players accidentally turn off the gun. Now, it will be difficult for them to do this, because, as you can see, I will now press the power button and nothing will happen. We made it possible to switch on and off by pressing for a long time in the game mode. This is to keep it from accidentally turning off. The player just holds it for 30 seconds to exit the game. In the post-game mode, when you attack, it is enough to hold for example, 10 seconds or even 5 seconds, the time you can set for yourself. To add some distinction, we used a wonderful coloring called camouflage. We used hydroprint technology, which is widely used to decorate cars in order to add distinctive features. This is a very high-tech and reliable method of coating materials, such as plastic or metal. It is difficult to scratch the paint, which is very important for active rental loads. We have been testing this technology for a year and a half in our park and on paintball grounds in order to make sure that this technology is ready for rental. And now we can say with confidence that this technology is the best for decorating the gun. The script is an important component of any laser tag game. This is what distinguishes laser tag from other games, such as paintball or airsoft. In laser tag, it is possible to organize a huge number of scenarios due to the automated and intelligent add-on devices. For example, a smart domination box is one of our most popular devices, without which no games can be organized. There are five game modes on the Smart Domination box that can be used in a variety of scenarios. We will show one of the most popular scenarios, it is capturing by shots. In this case, the player has to go to the Domination box and shoot straight down. As you can see, the scale grows depending on how many shots were made at the Smart Domination box. The team that gains the most points wins this scenario. For example, if the blue team comes up, then their timer will start and thus you need to get the indicator full. You can set the number of shots in advance. 
Also, there are changes in voice commands and voice alerts made available in the device depending on the language installed in your Android application or, say, your Windows program. So, if your customers are people who don't understand your language, you can set the language to whatever you want and launch the gaming in this device. It will automatically change the voice to the language that is installed on your Windows application. But the most important thing that we've achieved is an understandable visualization, which is visible at a long distance, and in this case, you can see from any side what the capture status is and how much time is left for you to hold the domination box or to capture it. It seems to me that this is the most important thing a player needs during a round, to see the status of the game and understand what to do. I would like to tell you about our second gaming device. This is an additional device, Sirius. This is an extended version of the previous generation, the utility box. We will launch it right now and see how well it works and how it looks visually. When we launch it in a game, we will see the external indicator timer start working. It is a visual representation, completely understandable, and when any player comes by, he will see the time to respond. Now, it is working for the red team. So it can be seen from afar. The player can understand that he has to hurry in order to reach the base, or that there is no need to rush. The cool feature that is implemented in Sirius is activation by touch. Thus, you can respond not only after waiting for the device's action time, but also you can turn on such a mode when a player runs up, touches Sirius, the device responds him. A reliable captive sensor which is not exposed to mechanical stress is installed here. It is important, with such a sensor, the device is protected from moisture. Any mechanical button, sooner or later, will get wet by rain and fail. Here, the capacitive sensor is installed inside, so no moisture will get in and, by the way, this body frame is also made of polycarbonate, which can withstand the same load as our headband. At the same time, this device can be disabled if the participants don't want to use this particular function. And the most important thing is that this device can be controlled both from the remote control and from Android and Windows applications, and it is very easy to configure all modes. You can choose what is more convenient for you, what is in your hand or in your pocket, an application or a remote control, and start the game or set up the Sirius for the mode you need. This is a multifunctional device that can be used to create a variety of scenarios ranging from respawn and ending with flag. All this information, you can find it on our website. Thus, if you look at these two devices, you will understand that they are similar in two ways. Firstly, they are easy to understand for the players, and secondly, they are easy to set up by instructors or by you personally. All of this can be done through the remote or applications, and you can see it all just on three indicators with a very bright LED. We create equipment not only for users who are players, but also for business owners, and we pay quite a lot of attention to this. Of course, you can control all devices through the remote, just as you did before. But there are certain difficulties when, for example, you need to launch all the players at the same time. You need to run around with the remote control and launch everyone. It takes a long time. Therefore, a clear progress in the laser tag business is the use of software. 
in this case, an Android or Windows application in order to manage the entire game before and during the game. The Netronic technology that we are introducing now uses a Wi-Fi connection in order to connect all this into one network. Wi-Fi at the moment is one of the most reliable technologies in the world, which provides fast and secure access to the Internet. Internet connection is not required for our equipment, and therefore we can use a regular, clear router that is not connected to the internet and using a wireless communication by a Wi-Fi channel. In this case, we are telling you about the Android application because for outdoor laser tag, this is a more convenient option. Because the phone can be put in a pocket and it is much more convenient to manage the game with it, and there is no need to carry a laptop with you. In the same way, you can use this application on a tablet which you can also use during the game and during the rain, use it in special cases. In our Android application, the design is adapted for each device. As you can see, you can use it both on the tablet and on the smartphone. No need to put it on different ones. The size of the screen doesn't matter. Now Yura and I will show how easy it is to play your first game. To do this, first of all, we need to distribute the players to teams. Now, we have two guns. This is done very simply by clicking a specific gun, and they will appear in the player's section. In addition, you can automatically distribute them into teams. After they are distributed, you can launch them into the game or add additional equipment, such as a Sirius or domination box. We will start right away. We press start. As we see, they have already entered the game, and you can shoot from this equipment. Then, we can press stop, and the game stops. And in the future, with this application, we can see the game statistics and see how many times the player has shot. We can print out the results and show it to the players. In addition, there is an automatic stop, and you can set the timer. For example, now it is set to 20 minutes, and you can change it to any time, and by the finish of this timer, the game will automatically stop. This is very convenient because you do not need to follow the timing of the round. You do not need to follow the teams and even if the battle drags on, the game will automatically stop. For example, within 10 minutes, players see this timer on their screen. If we start the game now, for example, for 18 minutes, then the player sees exactly the same information on his screen. Each player can see the countdown to the end of the battle. In order to use additional equipment, you need to create a new script or you can simply add it to the additional equipment menu. As we now see, we have a smart domination box connected to the program and Sirius, which works in the respawn, as can be seen. To add to the game, press settings. First of all, we can see one of the seven modes available in which this equipment works. You can choose the color of the team, blue, yellow, green, or red, and the rest of the parameters that are needed in order to customize your interesting script. Accurate setting for each script. After that, we can start the game. All additional devices and guns will be adjusted to their new settings. The Script Editor tab deserves special attention. There you can edit an existing script or create new ones. There are a quite a lot of settings here. We will not enlist everything, but in general you can adjust points for victory or for deactivation or for capturing a domination box. You can set the automatic finish of a round. For example, it will be a limit on team points, or you can add other limits. For example, a limit of domination box capturing. For example, you can set the round to finish automatically after three captures. 
Then you can choose the names and settings of specific teams. One team will have the same settings. Red ones, for example, will be a zombie team and the blue team will be people. Teams may have different settings. This can all be done through this tab. In the same way, you can configure additional devices. Now they are not connected to the tablet, but connected to the phone. You can fine-tune every series, every domination box, how long it will take to capture them. All via this interface. And then you switch to the main mode, the game mode. The instructor always has one tab in front of his eyes. You can choose one of the scenarios that are pre-configured. Thus, you can have three, four, five main scenarios prepared and each game that you arrange can quickly be switched between them. You do not need to configure each device separately. This way, templates save time. Also, a brand new simplified mode is available, child mode, which allows you to minimize all settings that may be available to children. To do this, select the mode in the script menu. In this mode, only the necessary parameters are collected, such as reload, it's automatic, automatic respawn after being shot, and other things that will be difficult for children to perceive. This is the mode that you need to turn on and shoot. Nothing more needs to be pressed, no reloads, nothing. You just need to run and shoot. As a rule, kids are upset when something is not working or not shooting. So, we made sure that shooting is available in this mode and you can just run and enjoy the wonderful laser tag game. If we click on the icon of each set, then we can see the individual setting for each set. And here, as you can see, the same functionality on the remote. Also, you can choose the role of the kit remotely, or you can choose a role for all players. Let's say everyone will be a stormtrooper, and one of the teams will also have a medic. And besides, you can make fine detailed settings for each set, or all at once. We will not describe all the parameters that we have. But we have something that we have recently added. One of the new features is regeneration. It means that over a period of time, the player's health will be fully restored. If you were hit 10 times, then you can have it so that every minute life units are restored to you. There is also the ability of setting different parameters such as invulnerability, shock time, overheating, and different types of weapons that can be used during the game. Overheating of the barrel is if you shoot a lot in the machine gun mode. Then you can set a hanging fire time. This means that after excessively firing the rifle, the player will not be able to shoot for a while. There are a lot of scenario opportunities that bring in interest. And again, this may be incomprehensible to some of the children. So in such cases, use a special children's mode. We collected all the parameters and made it possible to adjust them in a special script editor. Now, this allows you to create your own specific concept of the game. And giving players the introductory information, they can hold the game at a high level. And by the way, here you can turn off the sensor of the second hand, turn off the sensors that are inside the gun, and turn off even the recoil. This is what you need in order to level the chances of two players in a game. If you have sets of different generations or equipment from different purchases. All these innovations are your wishes and our capabilities. We have implemented this so that you can diversify your gameplay. And all of this is a part of the great huge platform Netronic. Well, as we have said, the Android application and Windows application are the heart of it all. For the last two years, we have paid the most attention to convenience. We tried to make the software convenient not only for players and instructors, but also for owners of LaserTag sites. 
simple and multifunctional. There is also a Windows application in the Netronic platform, which you can manage all the kits, just like in the Android, but with a number of advanced functions that allow you to choose this equipment in the indoor laser tag arena. From the enlisted functions, this is the script designer, advanced statistics, plus the sound control function for indoors has been added. It will be possible to create a certain map of sounds and alerts about events occurring in the game. They will be played inside the arena. Also, fiscal stats are available in the Windows application. These statistics will allow you to control the use of guns in the game, and we can track how many players participated in the game, how long the game lasted, and also see the specific date, time, and even the seconds when it happened. Standard functions of game statistics, including those with achievements, are implemented in the Windows application as well as in Android. It is possible to change the team settings so that you can set the parameters only for one or two teams or for all of them. Like the Android application, the Windows application is a very flexible tool for generating client scripts and games. And the third application that I would like to talk about is the TV Out application. This is a special Android application that, as a rule, is installed on the Android console. In order for you to place it on a separate TV, for example, in the hall or right inside the playground, here you can see the points of the blue team and the red team. Here will be all the players from the two teams. In this case, you can see which script is running and the timer. If now we shoot one set, there here will appear the info for all events. So we see if we hit an opponent once, then it is displayed on the screen. And with the second shot, the Iron Man defeats the opponent. We see the skull. This means that the opponent has already been defeated. The player is already out of the game, and he will need to return to the base. This application is actually an analog of what you can see on this screen. Everything that the player sees on his screen can actually be seen on this big screen. You can see all the actions and events that occurred during the game. This could be a base capture, a domination box capture, and everything related to the gameplay. This application is necessary especially for viewers who have come to support the players or watch a tournament, for parents who are watching their children or for a player who has already left the game and wants to see what is happening there. After the game stops, when the round is over, TV Out switches to the next mode which is the final one. It shows all the players, what happened during the game, what the result of the game is, and the rate for the teams and, personally, for each player. There are quite a few parameters here. This is our standard statistics. We will not dwell on it much. You can rank each player according to all parameters, and it will be seen who and which team won. You can immediately see the first and second place. Statistics in this form are presented so that the player can view the outcome of the round before the results are even printed. You can print out the same statistics via Windows or an Android application. You can then give each player a personalized printout of the game statistics so that, after the game, they can analyze, tease each other, and remember the game. The first type is personal statistics. This is the most detailed information on each player. Who hit him the most, who he hit the most, and his achievements. And game parameters as well. How many times he hit other players, was hit, and how much damage he caused. 
how many captures he made, and this is given out to each player. And the third type of statistics are the standard team statistics. Cross statistics displays the number of player losses. In these statistics, there is also a cross mapping. How many hits each of them has in order to see the full picture and, if teams have equal points, understand what happened. And the third type of statistics are the standard team statistics, where all the players are collected in one table and you can compare all the indicators. Here, they are also ranked. You can see who got the most points and who needs more training. This shade is the most informative. Each player can see everything. Here is the maximum amount of information collected and all the events that took place during the game. This is the thing that fundamentally distinguishes laser tag from other games. It is offered in different versions. Firstly, you can see it yourself on your device, on Android or on the Windows application. Secondly, you can display it for viewers with TV out. And thirdly, after the game, we highly recommend you print such memorable results so that your customers return to you for new emotions. They will show it and discuss it, talk about it in their classes if they're children, and if they're adults, place it in frames and want to return to you. Moreover, you can see here how you can set your data. This is the name of your club and phone number. You can automatically add this information to each form. And when someone asks, where did you play it? In the corner, they will immediately see where it is, and by calling you, they can arrange the game. In addition to the printed version, or output to TV, you can share these statistics in one click. Send these statistics to a social media network, for example, to Facebook or to Messenger. You can do this during the game or after it. It quickly and simply shows your future visitors that you are constantly having games in the club. This is a very important thing for attracting customers. So, friends, in this presentation we have presented you with what will be a condition for the success of your business for several years. We implemented all three components that we wanted to. The first is safety, so that your clients do not get injured. The second is reliability. Reliability is the material and the software which is of a high quality. And the third is gamification, making sure our scenarios allow your customers to keep coming back so they are immersed in the gameplay and want to go again and again. Most important thing, we have already started the sale of this equipment on the Netronic platform. Follow the link in the description, leave an application, and we'll contact you. We are sure that you will appreciate the platform Netronic, and you will like it just as we do. This is the LaserTag.net company. Bye.